Hi, I'm Adam from skis.com, and today we're gonna to show you how to install a ski boot heating system. A couple of things you're gonna need are gonna be scissors, a Sharpie, a knife with a serrated blade helps, or a regular standard knife or a utility knife, some duct tape, and a Dremel tool if you have that. Once you unbox everything, you're gonna find two battery packs, a universal charger, two adhesive strips, two cami covers, two heating elements, an instruction book, and warranty card. It never hurts to fill out the warranty card for these guys. Now that the liners are removed from your ski boot, you just wanna go ahead and slide out that insole of your ski boot. So go ahead and reach on in there and then you can kind of feel like a little bit of a seam in there. Go ahead and peel that part right out. Now this method works the exact same whether you're using an aftermarket insole or a factory insole. This is very simple, you just wanna go ahead and Position the heating element directly underneath the ball of your foot. You're gonna get a nice uh, even transfer of the heat. So go ahead and, co and line that heating element directly up underneath the ball of the foot and take your Sharpie and just go ahead and make a little mark and that's where we're gonna go ahead and make the incision for where we are, where, where we are going to be making a cut. If you're using an aftermarket insole, it definitely helps to use a Dremel tool. A Dremel tool gives you a much stronger, smoother, more precise cut. And this incision only needs to be about an inch long or so, but it does need to be thick enough for you to slide the heating element through. If you're using the stock insole in your ski boot, a utility knife is really the easiest thing to make this cut for. So you just go ahead and on your mark, that's really about an inch long. So you can kind of see that little cut right through there. Now it's time to feed the heating element through. So just go ahead and grab the back of that cord and kind of wiggle the plug end through. Feed that guy all the way through on the strap right there and then go ahead and do that for your other one. Again, this works the same way whether you're using an aftermarket insole or a stock insole. Feed that through and remove the adhesive backing on both of them and just kind of stick it right down there and position it underneath the ball of your foot. Most uh, heating systems do come with a adhesive strip. Tell you the truth, I found duct tape holds much longer and it's actually a lot easier to apply. So just go ahead and secure the tape just like so. And that keeps the wires from getting bunched up and just keeps everything nice and tight and secure. Now that you have your heating element installed, it's time to go ahead and install the cami cover. And this is a little bit tricky, so it gives you, it might take a couple of stabs at it, but go ahead and peel that adhesive and kind of create like a little bit of a fold in the cover and secure it from the middle. And then start in the heel. And as you're doing this, just kind of take your thumbs and this cami cover stretches. So give it a little bit of a stretch and a push like you're kind of playing with some Play-Doh and just kind of smooth that all out and straighten it all out. It's a little bit more difficult on an aftermarket insole, so it may take you a couple times, but this stuff here, it's sticky. You could go ahead, you could peel it off, you could reapply it if you need to. Now it's time to go ahead and trim the cami cover. And if you're using a factory insole, go ahead and just kind of lay that flat on a workbench right there, pull out your utility knife, and a nice sharp utility knife will just give you a nice smooth little cut along the edge right there. And you just kind of trace along the lines and you can always clean it up with scissors once you get through, but giving it a nice cut just to remove any of that excess cami cover. And then you may want to use scissors directly around the heel. As you can see, this guy just peels right off and then you can use some scissors right around that heel pocket and just slightly move the footbed with your hands. Now that the insole and heating element are ready to go, it's time to make the incision in the liner. And if you look at most newer ski boots these days, they do have like a prefabricated little membrane for you to cut. Uh, it's very simple, it's very easy, and it's all lined up in that right spot. The place that you really wanna make that cut is if your ski boot doesn't have it, is in the outside of that back heel. So if you see that membrane right there, it's just the perfect spot for you to cut. And this is where the serrated knife really helps for you. So go ahead and take a serrated knife, and you can see that little incision. Just go ahead and bust through 
that membrane and make that incision just about an inch long and that's perfect right through there. Go ahead and grab the heating element wire, feed that through the liner. Once you get that started, it helps to go ahead and position the foot pad or insole back inside the ski boot, slide the toes down, and as you kind of connect the wire, pull that wire and just give it a little tug with your right hand and then give that insole a little push with your left hand and everything will be sitting down flat inside there. Now this is installed, it helps to just use that little bit of strip of duct tape right across the back of the ski boot liner and give that a little strip of tape just to keep everything secure, prevent your wires from getting bunched up. Now that you have your liner, heating element, and insole all set up, it's, go, it's time to go ahead and put that liner back inside the ski boot. This is very simple, very easy to do. Go ahead and slide your hand all the way inside that liner and just kind of curl the toes a little bit. When you're sitting on a table or a workbench, go ahead and just push that liner right inside the boot and it should sit all the way down in there. Go ahead and fasten all of your buckles. Velcro your Velcro strap right there and attach your battery pack. Once your battery pack is attached, you can go ahead and plug into your heating element and off you go with a nice heated ski boot and you will find that this is gonna be one of the greatest luxuries you can have in ski boots. For more details and all the information on where to find all these products, please come visit us at skis.com.